What's up guys, the Allfather here bringing you the next war recap and for this post-war wrap-up I'm uh, going to look at doing things just a little bit differently. We're going to look at I believe five attacks and we're going to focus on some hybrid and higher level attacks as people start getting into upper end Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. These hybrid combination attacks become even more important uh, in gaining three-star victories uh, versus some of your standard, typical two-star attacks. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with those, but uh, as you're aware, uh, in a three-star war clan, uh, and we see it with our opponents when they bring you know these straight go-wipe attacks and two-star everything, uh, it's good enough to get them a lot of war wins, but it's not going to get them past uh, a three-star oriented war clan such as ourselves. And so for those that are still learning those and trying to master those, I really want to take this time to focus on some of these attacks and do some good um, post scouting I guess instead of pre-war scouting video and just kind of take a look at what uh, kind of combinations are working why they're working and see if that doesn't help us going into the future so with that said this may be a little bit longer of a video but uh, if you're the kind of person that wants to get better and enjoys watching these things uh, I don't think you'll have any problem with it and we're gonna go ahead and start with the attack here on uh, this base by Zarek. Um, this was a number seven hitting all the way up to number five it's a really nice attack here and so as far as pre-scouting this base what we're going to look at is a few things here. Um, pretty obvious design on these kind of four corner bases. It's very spread out, so it's uh, it's going to be tough for any sort of typical slow moving, you know, go wipe attack or anything that's uh, dragons or anything like that that's really got slow moving troops. So we're going to have to have some speed on this base. A couple things we notice here, uh, you know, these very obvious buildings here. There's a Tootsie Roll base at Town Hall 8 and others um, that we see that have these compartments there. They're two by two. They're very obvious Tesla spots and you can pre-scout that very easily. And the next thing we see on here is we've got uh, very obvious openings here. Uh, two by two openings all the way throughout the base here and knowing that there's four Teslas and four giant bombs in a Town Hall 9 um, We pretty much know now notice I think with this one it cannot be there even though that'd be a more logical spot going up to the defense There cannot be a giant bomb there because I don't think it's actually two by two I think that barracks is a little too close and so on a pre-scout We know where the giant bombs are going to be. We know where the Teslas are going to be and so this is really um, lending itself well to some sort of hybrid hog attack. And uh, a go wee ho uh, looks very much in order here. The other thing that we look at is uh, that's nice is these big group of clustered defenses, especially single target defenses. It doesn't really matter which side of the base you hit it from. With all the defenses on the outside, no matter how you go at it, you've got just a big row of defenses either way. So you're looking at a two golem approach. What that's going to do is that is going to attract the attention of all of those defenses. So we know what giant bombs are. We know how we're going to distract defenses. Um, we got to do a lure kill, obviously, with a clan castle. And the very last thing that we really have to worry about as far as hogs is an archer queen. Now I realize this is a level two archer queen, but nevertheless, she still has to be dealt with. So that said, those giant bombs are not going to impact us because we're not going to send them from the angle that's going to, you know, make the hogs go in this way. As long as we don't send things in that way to where they're going to path right across the bomb, uh, then we're not really worried about what the bombs are going to do to the hogs. Uh, so really all we're worried about is clan castle lure kill archer queen and getting around the giant bombs, which will be really easy. So... With that said, what we're going to see here is you're going to see a kill squad brought in through here. Two golem. It's going to distract all the defenses on here on this whole row. It's also going to obviously take out the archer queen. And obviously we're going to do a lure on the clan castle here and deal with them up in this area as well. Once those elements are in place, 
backed up by wizards and those kind of things across the back end. Uh, this part of the core or this part of the base right here is pretty much going to be handled. From there, the hogs just pretty much have to take out roughly 50% of the rest of the base. And they're just going to be able to come in right behind in a couple of flanks behind the kill squad and start clearing a path for the kill squad. And so let's go ahead and see how this attack uh, actually unfolds. So he drops a single giant there down at the bottom. And that does twofold, trips one of the giant bombs and gets the lure. He goes ahead and drags it up to the top where he's going to be launching the kill squad portion of the attack, uh, dealing with the clan castle and the archer queen. So he gets it all the way up to the top, goes ahead and drops the golems, and you're just going to have a back end whiz kill on the clan castle troops. And so, yes, the golem's going to take a little bit of hits, but basically his job there is just to tank and uh, take a few hits. Uh, we don't really need the golems to do much. They just need to provide some cover fire while these initial steps are being implemented. Uh, level 10 BK and the queen behind him, they're going to see they've already gotten that whole row of defenses basically taken out already. Now the hogs come in behind. Notice the angle that they're coming, they're not going to jump over any of these remaining bombs. Uh, he goes ahead and pre-heals that middle spot there. There could have been a giant bomb there because there's a 2x3 opening, so a good pre-heal just in case. Uh, goes ahead and heals the sides where the other giant bombs are suspected to be. And you notice the golem's still up with a ton of wizards and the heroes behind it while the hogs are just going around taking out defenses. It's got wizards running around doing some cleanup already. Last heal down in the corner uh, because there's really nothing tanking defenses over there. And so that's really the last part that needs to go down. Cannon goes down. Wiz Tower goes down. And all he's got left is cleanup. And so pretty easy attack. Great army composition. Good pre-scout. And because of all that... Uh, it was a three star, and I believe that was the first attempt at it. So, good job there. Next one is number six base here. And uh, a couple things that we noticed with this base we won't take too much time. This is an attack that I did uh, against this base. Uh, I was down the Barbarian King, so. Uh, one of the go-to attacks, if I can, when you're down some heroes uh, and you don't have the Barbarian King to deal with things, is a Gola Loon attack. And so, um, the one thing about this base is he was a rush Town Hall 9. He has no Archer Queen. On top of that, we have Expos pointed down. Four level 6 ADs, which isn't terrible. No Town Hall 9 level Archer Towers. Two underpowered whiz towers those aren't even level eight archer towers or uh town hall eight level archer towers uh he does have two air sweepers but pretty much this is a town hall eight uh, other than he's added the fourth ad in the second air sweeper uh two expos pointed down is going to have no impact on an air attack and even a fourth tesla uh is just minimal um so basically when we're looking at this what can hurt a go la loon attack or a la loon attack, anything using the lava hounds, is tightly uh, grouped together air defenses. And so I'm going to go ahead and, on this kind of an attack, take out the air defense that clusters everything together the most. That would be this one. It's the hardest to get to. And if I attacked uh, anywhere in here, it's going to get double targeted most likely. The, the Lava Hounds are going to get double targeted, be getting hit by two air defenses at once. With this air defense gone, uh, these two do not cover each other with their range, and they will only ever be targeting one set of Lava Hounds at a time. So with that middle one gone, using the Light Quake uh, spell combination, we can do pretty much a Quattro La Loon from there, and uh, from there it's kind of just a almost a spam attack I think it wasn't really too uh, coordinated all I got to do is just get everything down again uh, ground expos underpowered air defenses and so let's go ahead and take a look at how this shakes out all 
Uh, with a La Loon, you really need to do a, a lure and a kill. Uh, you can't really get away with, you can, I've seen it on videos, but I really don't suggest it because with, you know, being a level five plus clan, they're going to have max dragons in there. And so that's going to be very difficult to deal with on the fly with hound pups. So got to do the basics, got to get a lure in there and you got to get them drug out to the corner and deal with that. Uh, combination with 30 spells, uh, spaces there is barbs, wizards, and a dragon. What that does is the enemy dragon targets the uh, barbarians first, then the wizards, then the dragon. And so the dragon takes no hits whatsoever. Uh, again, once that middle one is light quaked, go ahead and see two hounds have burst already, but two are still up. They're still tanking the air defenses. Still haven't used those rage spells yet because remember we do want the hounds to burst and so we don't want to be premature on those and get the air defenses taken out too quickly. You see there's still two of them. They're going to the last air defense and uh, they still have some life left but hopefully they'll pop pretty quickly and uh, then you have the cleanup you need with the pups. And so they do both end up popping there I believe. And that's okay because there's still plenty of balloons left. And in this case, we didn't quite get that last one down, and so it kind of uh, could have been a little bit of trouble. But you see Archer Queen working her way around there, and she's a level 15 Archer Queen, still has her ability left. And so now all it's up is uh, cleanup troops. Cleanup troops and the Archer Queen goes ahead, and I pop the ability there uh, because she needed to go get that air defense in a hurry. And just had one little shot left on it she was able to take it down she'll be targeting the air, the archer tower here soon that dragon's still up and all the pups are able to clean up so again um you know you kind of have to use different ideas and strategies to three star when you don't have one of your heroes but it can be done moving on down the ladder uh, we see a southern teaser base. We've seen this before three or four times in a war. Uh, there's variations on a theme, but they all pretty much look like this. So on a pre-scout, uh, this is what you're looking at on these. Uh, almost, almost always you're looking at Teslas here. And then pretty obvious by that little wall pegging there that there's going to be Teslas there. So you kind of know where your Tesla pattern is. We're not too worried about that. Uh, what we're really looking for is giant bombs because again, on these hybrid strategies, we're looking at uh, using a go, a ho go wee wee or go wee wee ho, you know, that combination of the go wee wee attack with supplemental hogs. And so typically on this kind of base, you've got your giant bombs here. Now, whether it's single or double is kind of base specific. Uh, I've seen them double down there and I've also seen them single. Usually they're single and they're usually closer together like this so that you could possibly run over both of them. And the other two are going to be then up in here somewhere. And so that's your spell common or your giant bomb location that you're gonna have to deal with with your spells. And so the spell combination here uh, with the open layout, there's no need for jump spells or you know, anything like that. So pretty much you just go with two rage and two heal. And the idea with this Hogo Wee Wee is you have a go Wee Wee portion of your attack that basically is responsible for a good chunk of the base at least you know 50 to 60 percent of the base they need to deal with this they need to deal with the enemy archer queen they need to deal with the clan castle troops and they pretty much have to take out all these defenses on the bottom the hogs then are going to come in at a, at a kind of a complementary 90 degree angle and they're going to kind of work here and start either working up across the top, just depending on how the pathing goes, or because there's Teslas here, they may work their way across the middle. And that's just kind of AI specific and depends on how you launch them. But either way, this is the pathing that we want. We want the hogs to path across the base from right to left, left to right. Um, I go right to left when I do these because my first priority is taking out the clan castle and the enemy archer queen. So she's going to be gone and I want everything to kind of meet up over by the BK. And so from there, it's pretty simple. You just uh, lock a few golems on here after the clan castle and you're going to want to bring your BK 
in this way, he's going to latch onto that queen eventually and take her out, followed by witches and wizards, obviously, and they just work their way in this sort of pattern across the base. A couple troops will usually go up in here because of the way it funnels, and then the rest will wait, make their way across uh, towards the northwest. So let's go ahead and see uh, this attack by Awesome Sauce and how it ends up working out. You notice there's two spawn points there by the air sweeper. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but they have traps there, but that was an easy way to lure that, that clan castle out. A lot of times these bases are set up so that you can't lure that. They're, those buildings are close together. Those gold mines should have been in one more spot or two more spots, and that would have been a better setup. But still got to do the basics, uh, so you go ahead with that uh, Barbarian Witch Wizard Archer Queen kill on the clan castle, just like you would uh, in many other attacks. Again, golems anchor onto those cannons. And everything's distracted, so you just still got to create the wizard funnel and all that to get everything flowing the right direction. Uh, which it does here. Uh, Barbarian King comes in right behind, and as soon as he realizes that that enemy Archer Queen is shooting his buddies, he goes over there and bops her on the head. She's down. And like I said, Rage, Heal, Rage, Heal is the spell combination here. So we're going to Rage him through the Queen and the enemy Clan Castle troops. Heal where we know those giant bombs are going to be. You see the Hogs, once everything's in there, are already coming in from that 90 degree angle. Because they all need to kind of meet up timing wise about the same time. Uh, a couple go up towards the top, most of them head towards the middle. Which is good, so they're avoiding any giant bomb threats there. And they're a little closer to the kill squad, so that's actually ideal the way they path there. And they kind of meet up all on the left side there, heal them up, and they work up towards the top together. And just see how many troops are left. Tons of wizards, uh, two or three witches, troops working up the top, around the left, around the right side. They all kind of meet up and just wipe this base. And so Hogo Wee Wee, when you see that stock internet southern teaser style base, Hogo Wee Wee works every time. All right, next we have an attack by Nico and uh, pre scouting this base. Again, another hybrid attack. I believe he's going to use a Go Wee Ho uh, variant of that Go Ho style attack. And a couple things again, it's just one, two, three. And that's the idea is a lot of people are like, well, how should I attack this base? How should I attack this base? Get back to the basics. Just think very basic. One, two, three. So clan castle lure kill. So I got to do the clan castle first. I'm not even going to go through that in these attacks anymore because you have to deal with the clan castle. Secondly, if you're using hogs, you got to deal with the enemy archer queen. Uh, ideally, third, if you can, deal with the BK. Fourthly is your giant bombs. Where's your giant bombs at? Well, if you look at this base, we have potentials here, 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 here. So that's eight spots. You know, you have four Teslas, four giant bombs. However, there's a couple other spots that look suspicious, which is that, the way those buildings are kind of kicked out there with a two by two spot, uh, potentially up in here where you might want to launch a hog attack and maybe here and they do actually end up being down here at the bottom there's a double giant bomb set there it's an absolutely ridiculous place for it and they deserve to get three star for putting them there but that is where the double giant bombs are with all those circles i'll take that off but double giant bombs end up being here and i'm not sure where the other two are i think one is end up being over here i believe we have tesla here tesla here um and I'm not sure, I bet you Tesla here, Tesla here, maybe that's the other giant bombs too, but we'll find out. Um, but again, when you're wasting double giant bombs there down in the bottom when it's going to be absolutely no value to you. Um, but basically what we're going to see, again, is a two golem approach. You have two nice anchors there with the archer towers to get your golems. And uh, kill squad behind it comes in here, takes out both heroes. And then what you're going to see after that is just a uh, hogs come in from the back side. And if you look at the pathing they're gonna take, they're gonna come here, 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 and then they'll do a split. And so from there, 
you're worried about heel patterns and those kind of things. And so obviously we want to cover our potential giant bomb spots there. He's going to have four. Uh, he might bring a rage. Uh, I usually bring four heels if I'm going to do hogs because hogs have to do most of the work. But regardless, whether it's heel or rage, you can basically get spells on a large chunk of all the defenses with such a tight, compact group of defenses. So let's go ahead and see how Nico does this uh, three-star attack. Again, doing a good job with the basics. Uses two giants because they are only level five giants still uh, to make sure that he gets all the clan castle out. 25 spaces. Dragon Loon goes ahead and poisons him because um, he's got a pretty beefy kill squad and so he doesn't. he's not too concerned about ground skellies for the hogs. Nice split on the golems. Again, they, taint, or they uh, anchor onto the archer towers. BK jumps the wall, gets popped by wizards. Same thing with the queen. Heroes are done. Clan castle's done. Hogs come in from the top side. Do the split, just like we said. And I believe he did actually bring four heal spells, so good job there. Keeps them up. A lot of them go down. There's ground skellies, but again, I did miss the pre-heal on that last spot, but... Uh, Max Hogs are able to live through that and uh, still got quite a few Hogs. His Queen is up, three Golemites at least, and several Wizards that go ahead and do the cleanup. And so again, really nice job scouting that, coming up with a good army comp and nice three-star attack there by Nico. And the last one of our uh, TH9 hybrid war attacks here. Um, this one actually, I can't quite remember what they use, but, oh, yes I do. Okay, so this is awesome sauce, and this is going to be a Penta La Loon. And we had a couple, I believe, attacks at this base before this, trying to use some Goho and those kind of strategies, which are decent strategies for this. Um, but because they were a lot of level four hogs instead of max hogs, and that queen is a little bit buried, they struggled with that and with that clan castle on the back side. And so, again, this is a uh, Penta La Luna attack. Have to worry about getting the clan castle lure kill. And the only other issue really is the enemy archer queen, but she's the level two. And so, with that, at such a low level, you can deal with her with your lava hounds pups when they burst and should be able to take her out. Now, the reason Awesome Sauce ends up going air on this one while others had some struggles with the ground is um, a couple things. It's a preemie Town Hall 9, and so one thing we see here is it's not fully developed. Uh, really low level 4th AD that they've added already, so that's the new one, and it's only at 4. Uh, only have one of the expos added, and it's on ground. So um, note this, that when you're building your defenses uh, and you have your expos, they need to be on air, ground and air, uh, especially while you're building up those air defenses because your air defense is very weak and very susceptible to La Luna attacks. The other things we notice that open this up for air is... Air sweepers are both pointed the same direction. So what that does is that gives us our, our attack angle already because they're blowing down, which means as long as we come in behind them the whole way, they are not going to affect this attack. So we want our La Luna attack to come in from the same angle as the air sweepers are blowing, and that is just going to actually help push everything uh, the right direction. And the only other thing is uh, once the clan castle's down, is just launching uh, your three loons or your three lava hounds at one of the ads, and your two at the other. And if you have to pick one versus the other, launch the three hounds at the ad closest to the queen. This queen happens to be pretty much parked in between them, rather equally, and so we're going to see three of them over here and two over here. Uh, the only other things we're worried about, we're not worried about giant, double giant bomb spots uh, because of an air attack, obviously, which would appear to be here um, and possibly like here, but they're actually not. I believe most of them are outside, and these are actually double Tesla spots. 
And so there's a lot of anti-air to get through on that front side. Uh, and then once it gets through to the back, it's uh, pretty much uh, done from there. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. And you'll see the comp there. We'll go ahead and take a look at that before the attack goes. Um, Penta La Lune, you're going to bring, obviously, Penta, meaning five hounds. Uh, bring one in your clan castle. It's easier for the deployment. You do not want to bring loons in your clan castle for this because you need to be able to target your loons. If you spam your loons, uh, they're not. You're not going to get the. They're all going to clump up basically and go to the same defense. And you need them to be targeting different defenses so that they get through the base a lot quicker. And I mentioned that to some other players who tried some. La Loon, Go La Loon type attacks is that, you know, bring the Lava Hound in your castle and bring your own loons. That's the way to do it. Uh, and then the rest of the comp basically is just for the lure and kill and a little bit of cleanup. So usually you can go anywhere between 16 and 20 balloons, just kind of depends on the level. With the low level air defenses on these, uh, 17 loons is what we see brought here. Single Hog goes ahead and gets the lure there. From previous attacks, we know that the skeleton traps are set to ground, and so the poison spell there does make sense uh, to go ahead and get that dragon starting to be dealt with and that loon out of the way. Goes ahead and anchors up top with an archer. Dragon's already below half health, and so two of the big threats here are going to be gone soon. Go ahead and drop the royals. He cloaks the queen takes care of the rest of the dragon then there we see five hounds down followed by a line of balloons rage spells right around the queen because again those pups need to be raged up to take the queen out she goes down finally two more rage spells to get to the last ad's and just a few defenses left and just a ton of balloons archer queen is still alive around the back side with a few cleanup troops and this raid is over. And there we go. So there you go, a bunch of Town Hall 9 hybrid attacks and higher level attacks. If you're a Town Hall 8, you can take some of those same concepts and ideas and translate them down to your army compositions for Town Hall 8 want to go ahead and thank everybody for getting uh, a big jump and a big lead right from the get-go. Had the Town Hall 8s all three-starred within a few hours of the war start and took about a 30 or so star lead into the first half of the war and maintained it about 20. They kind of made a late push but still um, beat them by nine stars overall. They didn't use nine attacks and uh, we used all of ours and three star just about everything so after a tough loss good bounce back uh, if you haven't taken a look at the war log we have not lost back-to-back -back wars at least in the 50 wars in the war log and i know it goes back further than that so in more than six months we've never lost back to back and so you win some you lose some but when we lose some it's at least in recent history it's only one in a row so good job everybody bouncing back don't forget to post your best Go WeHo attacks as the month of October rolls to a close and get ready for a new attack strategy of the month for November. I already know what it is, but I will reveal it in the attack strategy of the month video here uh, shortly in the next few days leading up to November. Till next time, the Allfather signing out.